to Priya. See space out to the right. Quick hands will make a try. And JP Peterson has his second. We spoke about Pollard. He would attack the game line. Over here, you went. Tia Lendi was strong once again. The quick hands from the outside backs. Billy LaRue and Jean de Villiers freeing up the man on the outside. Easy run in for Peterson. But brilliant try, brilliant build up. Diago was the target man. And the under man, South African forwards. They're taking it right up to the Scottish pack. Scott from Holland. Holland. De Freya. You see Barker joining the back of him all the way through this, the ball under control. Fury de Vries calling the shots. He gets Beast back involved and then when the, when the ball comes to ground, Fury de Vries runs, he draws him, Duncan Weir. And a wonderful little pass to Peterson working up his wing. And a good score for James Beast Peterson, his 22nd in Test Rugby. Thanks, Mark. So Brits with the throw. The Yaga takes it down. Samoa again prepared to defend their line. But South Africa have it under control. It's Francois Lowe. Held up just short. Pops it away to Lambie. And Peterson has a hat trick. They'll need to confirm it. But this could be three for JP. Could have just dived in. Oh no, he's done well. That's a try. That trick it is for Jackie Peterson. 17 minutes to go in this game. What a scoreline if you're South African. There's a little pass uh, inside to Puri. And watch this, the scrum up going around the outside. And JP Peterson is going to get his second try. That was so, so simple. Provided by Fury Dupree, the scrum half, and once again England were caught napping. The line-out works early, and here is Matuku on the wraparound. They look to get it wide, Stanley, and it's been intercepted by JP Peterson, and he's got a clear run to the line. JP Peterson put South Africa back in front. Very flat move it was from Samoa, that final pass, Jopi Peterson, to be fair, he came in off his wing, he read up really well. The attempted ball over the top, he's a tall fellow as JP Peterson, got those outstretched arms up. And as soon as he had ball in hand, he had the tight part trying to run him down, he was never going to lose that race. Throw it closer. Well, he knew he was in, didn't he, from way out. Vikas van Heerden, who's come on as a substitute for South Africa, gets his first touch of the ball. Victor Madfield, he's got a man inside him, and there goes JP Peterson. That was great support play by the South African winger. And against all the odds in a way, South Africa have got the first try of this second half. Beautifully played, South Africa. The build-up play was outstanding. There was a huge hit came in here. I think it was on Butch James as he gave an inside pass. This is the end of the try here. Lovely hands down the short side. Matfield so strong with the ball in hand. And there was Peterson coming in on his inside.
One pass, and there goes J.P. Peterson for South Africa. And that was such an easy turnover and a try. But still under big threat here. Bismarck Duplessis trying to twist his way to glory, but it's not there. Pienaar throws it wide. Opportunities out to the right. JP Peterson, straight, straight down, finish there. Well We've got to check that this has been. Yeah, I think that Graham Hughes, the TMO for this evening, is going to be brought into action here. Let's have a listen. From that angle it looks good, but I think the key angle is going to be from behind. Just got to see his feet, that's the call. Yeah, he does fantastic, that's going to be a try from Peterson, wonderful work. Well, he scored a hat-trick against Samar, a try against Scotland, and now a try against Argentina, J.P. Peterson. The Weberless Trophy goes to South Africa for the second time. This could be the biggest party Paris has ever seen. It's a victory for the whole of sport in South Africa.